Hey everybody, this is Crystal with Pure Photoshop Actions and just really fast I'm going to show you how to use our Purely for Facebook um, action set that we just released. Um, so what it includes is it includes a size, a resize and a sharpen for Facebook. Um, we have our other Purely for the Web which is a freebie um, which you can choose the size for like blogs and stuff like that but Facebook changed the size of their pictures and it's fa they're fairly large um, and so we wanted to create a set that was sized for Facebook and sharpened for optimal appearance and also in this set is also some watermarking options for you because of the size um, it is easy for somebody to screen scrape your picture download it however they want to get access to it and you want to make sure that you protect yourself and your clients so basically anyways what you're gonna do is you're gonna download the set and then you're gonna choose your platform we have an instruction PDF right here um, but we'll also have this video. So you can either choose element six through nine, and then you'll choose if you shoot raw or JPEG. And it doesn't matter if the raw image that you shot has been saved to JPEG. If it was originally shot as a raw file, then you need to use the raw set. So you'll come in here and you'll notice that with the elements users, this time we've included, included XML documents, files, which will group your the set into your effects panel by set so that's super nice it'll be even more organized and we're getting ready to upload the other XMLs for all of our other actions so you guys can get those grouped too so basically I use CS4 so I'll come over here and then I shoot raw I shoot raw and JPEG but I always I'll just upload this for now so you just double click it and I'll just install that um, and element users, you obviously know that you have to go through the installation process and rebuild your database and stuff like that. So anyway, so what you want to do first is you're going to, ru going to want to run the Purely for Facebook Sharpen, whether your image is vertical, horizontal, raw, JPEG, whatever, um, run that. So just come and hit play. And then for element users, it adds the sharpening on a duplicate layer because you don't have the fade option. So if it's too sharp for you, just come over to your layers over here and you can just uh, decrease the opacity of that layer that's there. Or if you want more sharpening, just increase it. So for me um, and for Photoshop users, you can see that if you put the fade up to 100%, it's really crunchy. If you put it down to zero, it's a little soft. So I usually uh, go somewhere between not as 10 to 20 percent it depends on the picture so I'll go ahead and hit OK and now it's sized and sharpened for Facebook so now what you want to do is you're going to want to watermark it however you do choose you can use your brush how if that's what you use um, watermark it um, but included in this set are some options for you so we've included a couple things so first you want to decide okay is this a horizontal or vertical image so this is a horizontal image so you're going to want to come over here and you'll see it says after resize for horizontal images and then you're going to want to decide if you're going to put a horizontal bar a vertical bar or both on this picture so let's say you put a horizontal bar click play and then it shows that horizontal bar if you want to move it if it's in the way if it's not where you want it you can just select the layer and just move the bar around if it's too big control T you can make it smaller or if you want it bigger you know whatever you want um, we also have the vertical bar and then we have a horizontal and vertical bar so it'll do both at the same time um, you know depending on where the person is in the picture you may need to move the vertical bar so like I'd probably move it right over there to be less intrusive but still protect myself um, so then we also have okay so you have the horizontal and vertical bar then we also have the do not copy save or print for horizontal and then you can just move that up to where you want it or the do not copy and save for vertical so you can move that um, to where you want um, right there okay so that's that option or you can easily just use um, the do not save copy or print like if that's what you want to do and then you could you know maybe use your watermark um, and just put your watermark on it like however you want to do it um, you could do it like that so or and this is how I've been watermarking my images lately is I use the horizontal bar and depending on the picture, I'll put it probably like right, right about there. And I'll decrease the opacity of it just a little bit so it's not as strong. And I'll come to my uh, logo and control C. I just went to select all. So it's just always those little um, 
ants are marching around it, so all I have to do is control C, come back to my picture, control V to paste it, drag it down, and there we have it. And then I'll just lower the opacity of that some. Um, and then what it does is it protects my picture. Um, you could choose to put it up so somewhere else. I may actually, I mean, you could put it somewhere else. You could put it there if you want, but I usually like to have it right in the center if possible. Um, and that I feel like that protects my image because it's it, that would be pretty hard to get out all of that, all of the bar with the with the detail of her shirt and everything. It, it would be complicated to get out. So, um, so there we have that. So, and I don't know why I did that. So let's go ahead and put all that back on. Okay, so. Shift Control E to merge, and I'll go ahead and save. And now I'm going to come over and I'm going to upload it to Facebook just so you can see what it looks like. Um, and let's see. So here we go. So now you can see the size for Facebook, and it looks awesome. It looks clear, it looks nice, but my image is still protected. But you see how big these images are on Facebook now, so you have to be extra careful. Yeah, so you just be extra careful. So um, anyway, so that is how you use it. So then you have the same for vertical. So you have your vertical image, and I'll go ahead and resize it and sharpen it. Okay, so let's choose a sharpening, and then you're going to come down to the resize ap after resize for vertical images. So I'll go ahead and zoom out just a little bit so I can see the entire picture. And again, you have the same options, horizontal bar, vertical bar, horizontal and vertical. Um, see, so that one's a little low, so I'll go ahead and move that up just to where it kind of comes in contact with the picture so it would be complicated to get it out. And then control C that and control V it right into the picture. And then see how it's a little bit smaller than the actual box. So I can just control T my uh, picture, hold down my shift key, drag the corner. And then it will be um, the size of the box and just lower the opacity of that there. And there we have that. So, and then that's. Um, size for Facebook and everything's good. So, um, and then you could also, if you wanted to, um, put the do not copy, save or print. Um, let's drag that up. You could put that right there. I mean, really the, en the options are endless. You could put the do not copy, save or print vertical if you wanted to, um, and drag it over there. Um, you know, I wouldn't recommend, you know, like, bombarding your pictures with watermarks because then it's just going to be hard to look at online, but definitely do something that protects yourself and your clients and makes you feel safe about posting images online. So that's our, that's our set. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it and thanks for watching the video.